Hey, Fishy Jerks. I just thought I'd do a video. It's been a long time, months, I think, since I did an actual video of any of the tanks. Um, and uh, I just fed these guys some of the snail cookies from Crayfish Empire via a net, Mystery Snail Guardians. Um, and that's why there's all this, I don't know, lots of snails, lots of snails. And the shrimpies. These are some good sized shrimp. It's hard to tell from this, I know. Let's see, um, you know, they're, they're pretty good size. That's not the biggest one. All three of these guys here are good size. There's actually a huge one, he's up high, and I don't think I can get to him. Uh, a lot of different pseudomagills in here, or pseudomugils, depends on who you are. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get him. He's way back, he's way back in there. I'm not gonna get him. There's actually a King Kong looking guy, he's massive. Biggest shrimp I own. Uh, it's funny though, because in this tank, uh, we do have uh, bumblebee gobies, and there are baby shrimp in here. The bumblebee gobies don't seem to be going after them. But we've got a few different types of pseudomagills, and there's actually right there, you see there's a female guppy. She's sort of in the middle. There's two of them there right next to each other. See those two female guppies? Not sure how they got in there, but uh, there's two female guppies in there. Um, I'm not too concerned. A lot of different plants. Again, very, very hard water. Um, some plants, I've, I've been testing a lot of different things to see what I could get to grow. Banana plants do not like my water. Elodia, you can see, does really well. Uh, there is some guppy grass down. Oh no, that's not guppy grass. That's um, pogostemon octopus. It looks, it's very thin. I just cleaned the top of this tank because it was so filled with duckweed and water lettuce that there wasn't a lot of light getting down here to the to the bottom plant. So I just cleaned out the top. Um, there's a big piece of floating driftwood there. I absolutely love having that. I know it's a little weird to have floating driftwood, um, but I, I like it. The shrimp like to go for rides on it. Um, and I can't, I can't get it. There's a shrimpy there off to the left. And this is looking long ways. This is a 29 gallon. Actually, this tank came from uh, Canastillo uh, Valley Cichlids. Um, David, he gave it to me at the Keystone Clash last year. But there's some, uh, there's a few Luminatus in there. There's some Gertrudei. Um, I like this tank. I like watching this tank quite a bit. There's some nice looking fish in here. The blue really pops on them. Some of them, uh, I got a couple with uh, sort of bent spines though a little bit. Not really a bent spine. I guess that's not what I should call it. They just, um, they have a very, very full belly. And I don't know if they're like egg bound or what the deal is. I'm trying to find one right now to see if I can give an example. I'm not seeing any of them. I'm not seeing any of them right now. There's one of them that's just got a, a huge full belly that's really distended. Just one of them. There's no, I don't see any parasites or anything like that. They eat, it's been months since it's been like that too. I don't see any problems with it. Anyways, let's go around to the front side of this tank. We're gonna get some glare, I apologize. Again, I love those shrimp. Oh, did we see a bumble? Yeah, there's a bumblebee goby. There's one right there. Right in the middle back there. Uh, let's see if we can find some baby shrimp too. I just wanna prove that there's baby shrimp in here with the uh, bumblebee gobies. And, and again, th there's a mass right here of all this because I just fed some of the, the snail cookies uh, just a little bit ago. So they're all coming down there. So let's, let's see it from the front side here. Like I said, we're gonna get some glare. I apologize for that. Glass isn't very clean either. Not a professional YouTuber, you know. I've talked about this. I still never did the back of this tank. It doesn't have a back. Uh, the aquarium co-op bag is just sitting back there, not for any reason. It's just where I put it. Um, and that's where it stayed. Yeah, you see the two female guppies right there. Oh, there's the one right there, I think. No, I don't know. That one doesn't look as bad.
couple of Luminatus right in the middle there. Again, this is a 29 gallon. Yeah, Java Fern's not looking too hot. Uh, leftovers of a banana plant down here. That's a root of a pothos. You can see I got some pothos growing out of the top of the tank there. Uh, a little bit of, I think there might still be some hornwort in here. And nope, I'm not seeing it right now. Maybe I took all the hornwort out. But again, uh, I let this go a little bit. Uh, there was not a lot of light getting down to the bottom of the tank at all. And it's, you know, a lot of mold, a lot of mold down there. I don't keep super clean tanks. It's just the way I am. Shrimp seem to dig it. All right. Again, I just thought I'd make a video. It's been a while since I made one. Um, thought uh, thought we might want to see one of the tanks. And uh, thanks for watching. We will see you guys later. There's another one of the big shrimp. That's not the biggest guy, but he's a good size. Good size. There's a lot of good size shrimp in here. All right. Thanks for watching.